Driver that right now, Clint, because that's where everybody has lost it. Denny didn't have a great one and two, but he had an exceptional turns three and four. Cindric third fastest. Good lap. Great lap. Little we'll smile out of Denny Hamlin right there. He's, feel, he's feeling a little better about it. All right. This is who I chose, Clint. Let's see how my how my pick's going to work out. It's coming to the green. Good. Out of green. William Byron was 29-46 in round one in his Camaro. All right. We had a good one and two, but William, I'm going to need you to run the bottom of three and four. I need you to drive it in I deep. Know. I love the momentum that he got. The car was pointed. He was back to the gas, carried a lot of momentum. He's going to run the middle. Let's see. Just like that. Uh, I told him. Can Clint. he run him back down? I told I him where to run. Ground. You sure are right. Third for Byron, 29-52. Interesting when we hear from Denny to see if he thought turns three and four felt as good as what we're seeing in the data right here. Christopher Bell, 29-46 in round one. That would be good for third fastest. Bell leads all drivers with nine final round appearances. Well, it's going to be an all Toyota front row no matter what. Well, if he adjusted Clint, he didn't adjust a lot because he sailed it off into turn, turns one and two again. It looked like it stuck a little bit better, not quite as high on exit. Going to stay in the middle. Well, he's back wide open. It's just the distance around it. He just isn't going to have the momentum. Denny Hamlin did a really good job. So close. It's incredible. Oh, one one thousandth of a second between he and Kurt Busch. Wow. Bell is third. That's a close one, Denny. Toyotas have the top three, and the last car to go is Kyle Busch, 29-45. That would be fourth quickest. That's what Kyle ran in round one. Again, discipline. He got out of it a little bit early, but it was really quick to the gas. Carrying a lot of momentum, still in the green. He's a little farther ahead than this than Bell was the money is, three. though. Elected the middle, but he's back that corner. Oh, oh and it lifts. Sure did. You heard it. As soon as I heard him lift, it was over. Doesn't take much. And Toyotas sweep the top four positions, led by Denny Hamlin. Here we go. Jamie. Denny Hamlin, what a night. Getting congrats from his driver, Kurt Busch, over here. First pole of the year. Whose ball? <laughs> <laughs> Denny, did that three and four feel as good as it looked? Yes, uh, you know, it's just the reps. I, I, I run down there uh, quite a bit in practice and then in my first run in the first round. Uh, almost, no, <laughs> uh, just the, uh, I just, you know, I had reps down there, so I kind of knew what I needed for my car. And I just thought, you know, forward thinking that this track was going to get a little better and, and certainly we would want to cut the most distance we could off if the track continued to grip up. When you look at your stats, this is one place, Denny, you have never won at, let alone the Coke 600. I know your crew chief's not here, but what would it mean to you to, to check this one off in the backyard? Uh, it's a lot. I mean, he knows how special this race means to me to, to try to win, and I've had such fast cars here and um, crazy luck that I've had here over the, over the years and mistakes that I've made that have kept us from winning. But... Man, just really want to get this one, especially being a co-partner for all 18 years or whatever of my career. It's just been great uh, to be partners with them, and they did a great job with this FedEx Crown uh, Toyota this weekend. It's it's, uh, it's been pretty good. All right, Denny Hamlin on the pole for the Coke 600. Vince? Well, and alongside on the front row, Kurt Busch, three thousandths of a different... Kurt claims there was a glitch in the timing and scoring. <laughs> Can you look at it and say, well, we lost three thousands here or there, or do you just you know, take satisfaction in being on the front row? And then boss man rubs it in. He goes, don't forget who's boss. I'm like, <laughs> let's go redo it again. Let's go for a third run. I, I did lose a little bit in one and two. I owned one and two on my first round, and I just kind of flip-flopped the ends. I did not quite hit one and two, and that's a thousand. And when you feel it, you know it, and somebody will take advantage of you here in the Cup Series and beat you. But what a great day for Toyota. I mean, our, our monster car's fast, FedEx, Christopher Bell, Bubba, uh, Kyle had a shot. He ended up fourth. Uh, that's good stuff from the Toyota camp. Uh, Built-in track position to start the race, good pit selection. Uh, which is more important tomorrow? Uh, D, all the above. <laughs> Mike.